You know, don't know is where we start. It, it means we start with no assumptions. If you're already full of ideas, right, if you already know, you have this story in your head, for example, what happens to you after you die? You already know what your purpose is in, in this life. You already have this because somebody uh, has uh, made something up and then made you believe it. Right? So, uh, so you have all of these beliefs. Um, the, the problem with beliefs is that they're very dangerous. If you, if you believe uh, that God himself wants you to kill somebody, or kill yourself, this is a very, very dangerous belief, isn't it? Sincere, for sure, right? Very sincere. Has nothing to do with good or bad. Has everything to do with belief. And it has become a dangerous situation. It has become a poison. The antidote for that poison, we refer to as don't know. But it is not not knowing. The idea of Buddhism is not to become stupid. Uh, the, the, the goal of Buddhism is not to not know anything. Uh, you want to know, right? You want to know. You want to know what your life is like. You want to know uh, what your purpose is. You want to know uh, how you can help the world. You want you have so many questions, right? You want to know what happens after you die. Where did you come from before you were born? You want to know. It's not that you don't want to know, but you start with no assumptions. When you start with no assumptions, just, what am I? And look inside. That's the antidote to belief, which is a poison that will kill us all if we don't, if we don't do something about it. You know, um, do you have a cell phone? Yes. And, and you can t and do you have one of those kinds where you can like talk to somebody and their picture appears? Yeah. On with the FaceTime and that, yes. that that sort of thing. Yeah. You know, when I was not even when I was a boy, when I was an adult, this was uh, uh, unheard of. This was science fiction. Right. This yeah. was in the this, 80s, back to the future. Yeah, we used to, I used to watch, when I was a kid, I used to watch this show on TV, uh, uh, Get Smart. You know, he was a secret agent and he had, he had his phone in his shoe, you know, and everyone thought that was, that was really funny. He had the, the shoe phone, so. But look at, what, what, look at uh, how far we have come with our uh, comforts and our conveniences. How, how convenient. How convenient is it? I remember we, uh, my, my parents, uh, they didn't want, a, didn't want an encyclopedia in the house. That's what libraries were for. If I wanted to look something up, I had to, I had to go to the library. And that meant I had to walk about a mile to go to the library to look something up. Now, you, you reach into your pocket. Right? You look at you, you Google something, you look something up, it's very easy. We have all of these uh, uh, comforts and, and I mean, if not too long ago, people were, it was a big deal to wash clothes, right? You had to gather the clothes, you had to bring them down to the river, you had to pound them against the rocks, you brought them back, you hung them up. So many conveniences we, we have in our lives, so many things to make our lives easier, so many things that make our lives comfortable. It's amazing how far we have come. But sadly, have, is, can we say that we have come that far 
with our inside. Is, can we say that as a nation we're more joyful? We're more peaceful? We have at least figured out this life a little bit more. Not even a step. So, the antidote to that is to look inside. It's the only way out. You know, if we look out, we see what happens. We see what we, when we look outside, we see, I know how to make this more convenient. I know how to make this work better. I know how we can make a better technology to make things work. That's what happens when we look out. Think of what we could do when we look in. And start with no assumptions. The, uh, I will tell you the potential is unlimited. What human beings are capable of. This is a very sophisticated machine, right? This, this thing that you have, that you, you know, your cell phone's in your pocket, but the thing that holds that cell phone is more sophisticated than the cell phone, isn't it? And we just have to learn how to use it. We have to learn how to look uh, inside. Looking inside is the only way out. So the, the confidence comes with the practice of that, of the experience of it, to experience your true self without thinking, to experience the being that does the thinking before a thought even arises. Is a, is a wonderful thing. Not only does it give you confidence, it makes you comfortable in your own skin.